Hot on the heels of Catalonia's referendum to break away, two major Italian regions are finishing voting for more autonomy on Sunday. The region's leaders explained how they see the historic ballot. We want to overcome the inability of Europe to solve problems and face up to them by offering a new dimension. We want a more united, stronger Europe, one that takes into account the specifics of territories. This is what can be simply called the Europe of regions. A page of history will be written. In any case, Veneto will not be the same as before. We want to initiate this in a manner that's democratic, lawful and compatible and in line with the Constitution. The polls were opened for the area's first referendums of their kind and although the votes are non-binding, meaning they won't change any powers, they are expected to send a signal from locals angry at having to subsidise poorer parts of the country. Veneto and Lombardy are two of Italy's economic powerhouses, the home to major tourism and industry hotspots, including Milan and Venice. Local leaders explained why this vote is needed. For more on this, I'm joined now by Paolo Bernardini. He's professor of early modern European history at Insubri University. Very good evening to you. Now, I mentioned it just there. The votes are non-binding, though. Uh, as I understand, though, it, they're expected to have some kind of impact. What will that be on the country? Well, it will be certainly a great impact, to my understanding. First of all, Italy will understand, finally, that uh, all Italy as a state is uh, kept alive by four regions. Uh, Veneto, Lombardy is the number one, Veneto, Emilia Romagna, and Tuscany. Second, and then those, especially Veneto and Lombardy that voted today, don't want anymore to be like uh, the locomotive, the driving force of Italy, because uh, in spite of the fact that billions and billions are given every year to the central state and redistribute all over Italy, the GDP per capita and the total GDP of Sicily is still half of the GDP of Lombardy. And the same applies to Veneto. The GDP of Veneto is double than the GDP of Calabria per capita, which means that Italy is divided in two, two halves. And uh, this uh, <clears throat> is a long process, it's a long story, but should stop. Because by giving out all this money to the central government, we don't help the uh, southern region to grow and to develop. They are very much subsidized. And uh, the situation is quite similar to that of Catalonia, and so I think the, um, the country, our country will be aware that those uh, leading powers in economy should have uh, more political power and able to dispose of their resources, to, 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 to use uh, the money and the resources they produce in their own territory. You mentioned Catalonia there. Do you think that, that what's happening in Spain has had any effect? Has it kind of given confidence or emboldened some of the, the areas in Italy? Um, uh, certainly, certainly, this will. Oh, they are much ahead in Catalonia uh, than in, in Veneto and Lombardy because people are marching in the streets, hundreds of thousands, occasionally with a diada in September, millions of people. This does not happen so far in Veneto and Lombardy. Uh, so we just uh, ask for more autonomy, and it's not uh, a referendum for independence uh, yet. Uh, but at the same time, it might eventually lead to a referendum for independence over the years um, if we don't get uh, enough autonomy that we ask. So people went massively to vote in Veneto, a little less in Lombardy, uh, but still I think it's, a very, it's an important event in Italian constitutional and political history which is going to affect the country uh, strongly. And at the end, eventually, Veneto and Lombardy will uh, have some gains for the central government, although I think it will be a long process. And talking of um, influence stroke inspiration, Italian politicians have been talking about a possible domino effect. Is it possible other regions might start asking for autonomy? Oh, well, yes. Uh, yes. In Italy, we have already five regions uh, which are autonomous. Uh, um, and we might have more regions asking for autonomy. I think about uh, possibly Tuscany or Emilia Romagna or Piedmont. Uh, they might ask for autonomy or more autonomy. You know, the, in, in, in case of Italian regions, some regions have autonomy, and, but the constitutions uh, in those regions, which are called statuti, statutes of autonomy, are not applied. Otherwise, if you apply the status of autonomy of Sardinia or Sicily, they would be the Euro independent. They would be ideally independent because they can retain on their own territory all the tax revenues. They can uh, have a, their own fiscal policy. 
and uh, this would change completely the situation of Italy if they apply the status of autonomy. But certainly, the domino effect is foreseen, and, I under and to my understanding, is going to happen um, over some years. Paolo, good to talk to you. My guest, Paolo Bernardini, Professor of Early Modern European History at Insubra University. Thank you so much. Nice evening. Bye.